Why would a person pick a harder difficulty in a game? To see, because it's like a challenge to them, to see if they could do it. Why do you pick expert or legendary or... Because it's like a challenge to me. Okay. How do you feel when you beat legendary compared to beat easy? It feels pretty good. Plus you get, I think, three achievements for it. Okay. In school, if you had to pick a difficulty level, what difficulty do you normally pick? Normal. I mean, after a while, I might pick expert, but not for any time soon, though. Do you get the same feeling at school? If you beat something on expert, you pick something hard and you get through it? Sometimes. What happens most of the time when you pick something hard at school? I fail. Game designers make a game appropriately difficult so that you motivate somebody but not make it too easy and not make it that too hard. That is one of the things we had to discuss quite a bit. Um, it's extremely difficult to balance something per individual because most people get very disinterested if the game is too easy or too difficult. So you almost have to have a sort of um, learning curve that adapts to each individual. Like um, Limbo, I know, it pretty much resets you, like if you fail a puzzle, it'll pretty much reset you right at the beginning of the puzzle. And it won't make you do like a whole mess of things all over again. But also some of the puzzles may be too difficult for some people and they might just lose motivation all the other on them. Well, one main difference is Bioshock, everything's running straight through. Like things are getting harder, but you're running straight through it so you get better. Whereas if you're in an algebra class and you miss a day, you have no idea how to do it. You can't go back to it. If you're in Bioshock, just reload your data, you can do it again. You can't do that. If you run through an objective, you feel happy about it. You do it again and again and again before you know it game over. School, you run through an assignment, you skip a few, you run through it again. Yeah. So when you fail in a game, why do you keep trying the satisfaction of it, I guess. And if you fail in school, why do you give up? <laughs> that is an unanswerable question, I'm not sure. Um, How does recovering from failure feel compared to succeeding when you expect to? Um, I think succeeding when you expect to, like, it might be like your new favorite class or whatever, but like, it's not necessarily hard or like challenging. And I think that it's just, it's like, oh, yeah, I aced that class, whatever, you know, it, not a big deal. But then, like when you succeed, it's like or like you have to like work for your A or your A plus or whatever. It definitely makes you feel better about yourself because you um, you work for it and you earn it, and then you don't just like pretty much get it handed to you.